Hi, Jess here from Presets and Actions by Jessica G Photography. And today I'm going to be editing this image and I'm going to be using my presets and actions. So first I'm going to be using a preset and I'm going to be using snowflake presets. Now this one is pretty much one click for me, but that's not the case with every, with all presets out there. There's always going to be some tweaking that you need to do. So I just kind of want to show a little bit on like the tools that Snowflake includes already. So normally you can start with a preset, for example, and then you can add one of these on top. Say you need a bit more exposure or bring that exposure up. That's obviously a little too much. And it also has like glow, skin tone balance. So just depending on what you need for that image, then you can select the one like for example we can zoom in here the softened skin just kind of makes it a little bit more soft I like to have a little bit more texture so I can keep that way or we can do a little bit more just depending we can do that one and here I want to for example I want to darken the shadows a little bit so I'm going to adjust the shadows here and over here you can see your exposure um Pretty much all these things, this is where you do your tweaking. If an image, for example, is a little bit too warm, you can add a little bit of uh, blue or the other way around. If you want it warmer, you can adjust the white balance there. If a photo is looking a little too magenta, you can add some green. That's a, obviously not, that's too much, but depending on the image, you can adjust that as needed. I also like to tweak over here the sliders on the color mixer and I like to use the hues for example so here we have like some red tones so I'm just going to bring that down to zero and that'll adjust the reds there and this is the saturation of the red so how red it looks so we're going to leave that as it was I'm going to leave that as it was too and I'm just gonna bring the yellows down a tiny little bit. And then over here, this is the brightness of those colors. So for example, we can bring the red up, but I don't wanna lose too much detail, so I'm gonna keep it there. Might bring the orange a little bit back. And then bring the shadows. Now this, I don't do this every time, just really depends on your style of editing. I'm actually gonna bring the blacks a little bit lower there. So this is what I, do and depending on the image that I'm working with that might change so it just depends on what you need for the photo but like the highlights is going to control the highlights here shadows you can see darker or brighter and the whites the same thing the thing with the whites if you do too much the highlights look blown out so you don't want to do too much of that and if you do a little bit then you want to bring the highlights down a little bit there so it kind of softens the image a little bit. And sometimes if this area here is looking a little too dark, then I can adjust the blacks there. So again, it just depends on every image. And then the cool thing about Lightroom is that you can synchronize. So you can select the images that you want to do and you click synchronize and make sure that everything is clicked. And then that's going to kind of copy paste the edit on the other images and then all you have to do is kind of adjust the the exposure maybe because I didn't have it clicked so I'm actually gonna like let's do a reset on that so I'm gonna redo that so I'm gonna click those synchronize and make sure everything is clicked check all and synchronize so that saves a lot of time in editing and then from here, I'm going to export in a Photoshop file, and then I'm going to start editing in Photoshop.